welcome to my floss tube. I'm Linda and I'm the one behind Linda's 144 hobbies. Cheers. Um, well, uh, welcome. I felt that uh, it was time to do another floss tube. Uh, I haven't done a lot of stitching um, the past maybe a couple of months. I don't know. Uh, but the past week uh, I have actually been stitching quite a lot. Um, so I have a little bit of progress to show you. And since I don't have any haul or anything, um, I was thinking that we are going to take a closer look at my heaven and earth design stash. <laughs> yeah, it is quite a lot and there might be a lot of starts and there might be some starts. I have no idea what it is. But let's see. I have something in my. I'm sorry. Um, what should we start with? Um, let's start with the non uh, non head non head related progress, and I keep it in a small uh, fabric uh, bag fabric bag? I don't know. Cotton bag. And I usually bring this uh, with me when Mina, my daughter Mina, is dancing. And it's gonna crackle and sound a lot during this whole episode because I, I usually store everything in plastic bags and I don't think I'm gonna edit the sound or cut it out because it's just going to take too long. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so I bring this uh, cross stitch with me when she's dancing on Wednesdays and I have about two hours if I just sit and stitch, if I don't go out for a walk or anything. Um, and it is the Squirrels of Sumatra by um, ink circles and I stitch it on on snurt I think it's a hand dyed fab fabric it's 28 count um, and it's the mythical fabric uh, company or yeah who has uh, where I bought it So I make a little bit of progress every Wednesday and I use a variated uh, thread, silk thread by Gloriana and it's called Acorn and I'm really enjoying it. It's very simple just to have one, um, one thread. Uh, I think uh, you should stitch this like two over two, but I'm stitching it one over one. Um, but it's very nice, you know, you get a very variated brownish colors, so it's very nice. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying that. But I think next week is like her last dance lesson for this term. So I might not stitch anything more on that during the summer. I don't know. So I have it in a plastic bag and here on the other side I have a um, work copy, so I don't want to use the original 
pattern. So when I'm done, I, I throw it away. <clears throat> and then I have a small uh, box with me where I have, you know, needles and scissors and the thread. Oh, I can throw you the, thr throw you the thread. No, I'm not going to throw you the thread. I can show you the thread close up, but I don't think you're going to able to see it's so nice and soft I I really love um, the silk so it's gonna be out of focus because I'm here yeah it's very nice very nice It's been a while since I made a floss tube, so it feels kind of awkward, actually. So that was that. Mm. And the last couple of months, I started a new hobby. plastic scale modeling so I'm building a little car yeah so what's next uh, you all know that I have a stitch along I am stitching the once upon a fairy tale by Amy Stewart and designed by heaven and earth designs and it's super sized max collar and I thought that I was gonna set everything aside when they released the pattern, but I didn't because I was so hooked on so many other things. But this is the progress I have. So this is the, uh, the top left corner of the pattern. And it turned out really nice when I look at the picture and I look at how it looks at stitched up. It's very, very nice. So uh, in my last stitch along, I promised to finish this, this part. I mean, how many? One, two, three, three times 90. So I think there's about a hundred stitches there. Um, I promised to finish this part because it seems like there is something else coming up here with other colors. Um, so I hope that I will finish this whole thing this year, but I don't know. So that's another progress. And then I have the thing I'm the most hooked on as, at the moment, and I won't be able to show you the whole thing. It is the, um, it's also a heaven and earth designs design pattern uh, by Gordon Fidget and it's the Grandmaster. It's a super sized and it's max colors as well. But I'm extreme cross country stitching this, so I'm working on the color, the first color with the most stitches. And I think it's like around 20,000 stitches, and I have less than 3,000 stitches to go. And now you won't, I don't think you're gonna see much. Uh, so up here, uh, rolled up is his head, uh, but you can see maybe, oh, the needle minder is from Ray to Ray. Um, so you can see here, these are the birds that he's holding in his arms. And this is one of his arms and I'm on the last, the last arm. He only has two wings. So this, this is the other, and when that one is done, I have like maybe a hundred stitches to go, which is a little bit spre spread out at, at the bottom. So I'm really working hard. I know you're not going to see much because it's white on white, but I think, I mean, you can see here's the outside of his arms and the, um, what do you call this in? 
in Swedish, his, or in English, he's holding the birds like this. So you can see that there and the birds there. Oh, it's so cool. So I'm really working hard to finish that because that's going to be like a partial finish and, you know, white on white. And then I can, you know, go to something with color. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes. And I just love those ducks. I have another duck, uh, the Sen duck but in a regular size and you're going to see the difference and uh, I've stitched yeah I just did stitch a tiny tiny little bit but it's very uh, different how you handle the confetti so yeah that's all the progress I have um, but I usually just have time in the weekends to stitch so um, yeah We'll just put it behind the camera so that's that so I have <clears throat> three of these with heaven and earth stash and as I said I I might not know all the names of the designs. I will try to put everything in the descript in the description. Otherwise, just ask and I will, you know, give you the answer. So here's the first kit, uh, and the black bag or box. I mean, is like the designs I've been working on, um, like the past year. So those are the newest and, you know, the most relevant I'm working on. I need to, so this is, this must be, um, the horse, the one with the horse. I've cross country stitched it with black so all the black is done do we see a horse in here somewhere it looks like a door over there hmm this is embarrassing really doesn't look like there's a horse in there. This is not good. Um, so either it is a quick stitch from Amy Stewart's Treasure Hunt bookshelf. And it's the part where the horse um, is in and there's like a castle in the background and like to the left of the the design there is a door with the fox sitting and oh yeah I can I think I can tell if it's uh, full stitches which I think it was yeah so it's the quick stitch uh, and that's so cool what you know that they have taken like a small part of the design and you know enhanced it and I can't remember, I can't remember. I don't think it's like max color or anything. I think it's just the regular size. So this means I need to go get back to these because I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but I think it's that one. Yeah. Or I should like put a note in it so I know. So that was one. And this I don't have in a plastic bag. I've just put some fabric around it. This is like one of the projects I really love. And I've stitched quite a bit on it.
so nice. I started like in the middle. I wanted to stitch her first because there's so much background. And I actually dropped my scissors and made a hole in the fabric. So I had to patch it and learn how to do that. And you can't tell on the back or in the front. So it's very nice. This one is stitched on a 27 count Linda, I think it's called, 27 count. And it's not confetti heavy, so it's quite okay. Uh, but I would not go uh, smaller than that on a heaven and earth design. Uh, but yeah, I love to stitch these colors and the skin and how the muscles come forward. It's, it's such a beautiful piece. It's called Soft as Steel. And it's by Julie Bell. And she, I think she's called Julie Bell Vallejo. So. I'm looking forward to get back to that project. It's a nice one. Like so. And yeah, this one, the one I showed you the first time, is stitched on a 25 count and is called uh, Magic Magic Guide, I think it's called. I think it's the DMC who has this. Uh, the problem is that the grids are 20 by 20 and I prefer the 10 by 10. But it's a very nice fabric to stitch on. Oh, this is just the uh, uh, kit for my grandmaster. So there's nothing to show there. Another piece I have in a pillowcase. So that means it's a super sized because I use the pillowcases to uh, help me handle all the fabric. I've showed that in one of my other videos. So big, I can't even see where I've stitched. Oh, it's the Secret Garden um, by uh, Amy Stewart. I, it's the super sized Max Color, and I wanted to try to park with Max Color. So let's see if I can get really close up. Um, I mean, this is just the top row of the first page. And I gave up. Um, it's very bulky in the back. Um, mm. Yeah, no, so that's when I decided that parking and uh, max colors there's like 239 colors, I think, in most of those. Um, for me, it's not a good idea. So if I'm going to stitch these Max Color projects, it has to be either, you know, like um, the extreme cross-country or just cross-country stitching. Um, to have better control of the bulkiness. And yeah, I just think it's easier not to have all the threads hanging around everywhere being in the way. But the design, the, the secret garden is so beautiful. And there is so much going on uh, and all those flowers and animals. Yeah, I love it. It's very nice. So, another pillowcase. So, I think this is the supersized um, or large, the world travel um, piece. And it's so nice. I bought the fabric and kit and everything from um, Heaven and Earth Designs. I think I've stitched eight pages of this. 
I love this one. It's just super size, so it's not max color. And I think that's quite nice, actually. It's very nice. It's so beautiful. It's also 25 count. And the coverage is beautiful. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It's going to be huge. Yeah. And this is the back. So I'm cross country stitching this one. That's the back. Um, and I'm not parking yet. So I've stitched four pages at a time. Um, so that works pretty well. I think I'm going to go down to a page at a time so I can jump to the next project faster. What's next? Yeah. So here we have an easy guide. So this must be the one under the sea. I think it's called, it's called Atlantis or something. I can't remember, but it's uh, Marciano. It's also extreme cross country stitched. All the black is done. And I'm, I'm te 10 stitching it on 25 count. And it's hard to tell, right? And it went pretty fast. So I guess the next color is like 9.39. Yay! <laughs> and it is, I remember it was like the regular size, but on this one, I chose the max color. Um, so if I remember, I will put in pictures and names of it all. Let's see. That was all in the, in the first box. So those are the signs I'm working on at the moment. Well, the moment you know since the past year yes grab another so I've used some of these um, what's it called organizers yeah it's quite okay Yeah, uh, since I have bought a uh, fabric and yarn, no, not yarn, um, yeah, threads and everything years back for, you know, starting out up uh, projects and some I've started and I've just stitched like 500 stitches or something. And then I feel like, ah, I'm, not, I'm never going to stitch. So I know I've taken fabric to other things. And somehow I've put in, I've cut out stuff from fabric I've had for my heaven and earth designs. And I realized, I looked at this one. I have one piece where I've stitched like a hundred stitches of something. I have a no clue what it is. And I'm going to pur purchase a um, couch dragon, I think it's called, by Randall Spangler. And it's the 400 by 206 stitches. So it's going to be perfect for that. So that means over there behind everything, I have my DMC collection. I have the fabric, I can get the pattern like so, and I can get it started. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do that. 
Um, and this is just um, a thread pack I'm not going to use. Midnight Watcher, also by... Is it by Julie Bell? I think so, yeah. Or Bell Vallejo. I stitched the whole page. Yeah, you can see I really enjoy this fabric. Also started in the middle. Midnight Watcher. Let's pull it this way. Maybe you can see it better. It's quite nice. Yeah, beautiful. One page. <laughs> it's like this small. Yep. So like a project, a project where I've stitched a page, I will not throw that away. No, I'm gonna stitch, stitch this sometime. need to go get some more coffee. Oh, here's the Sendak. Let's see the difference. I think this is like 28 count. It's a hand dyed fabric, Opal opalescent, is that how you say? And it's, you know, dyed like it's heaven like clouds. It's just a big mess. So this is the top hat and a bird, I think. You don't want to see the back of this thing. Oh my God. So I tried parking. It's just such a mess. Oh my God. Look at that back. Holy Lord. And before, I didn't know the loop stitch start. So I usually do like knots in the front. And when I get close, I can just cut it off. And that, you know, creates a big, big mess. So now I know how to do it different. And there is so much detail in those ducks, so I don't know. If I should, you know, kind of tear it all up and start again or, you know, try to save it. Or I will never, might not stitch it uh, because I have the big ones. But I love the fabric. It's very nice. would be fun to you know stitch the the regular one and then a super sized to compare how big the difference is what do we have here healer's touch maybe a page of black Stitch that. Oh no, that's more than a page. Oh my god, look at that. That must be two pages at least. There's a little bit of green in there. Look at that. How nice is in that? It's and it's it's tent stitching. You can't see that at all. It's so cool. I wonder if it's I think it's 28 count. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you something. So the first part I stitched uh, like a half cross stitch, but then I learned that the tension will be um, 
strange if you do that all the way. So I should stitch it diag diagonally, 10 stitching, I don't know. So I switched and this is the difference between that's how I started out and this is how it looks. This looks almost like the front. So that's kind of cool. I stitched this when my my dog Eli is not alive now, when he was in the hospital. I think this is Lugana. Yeah, I think so. It has a special smell to it. Um, healer's Touch, 10 stitching on 28 count. Mm, I think it's, um, is it Anne Stokes? I think so. I think it's Anne Stokes. It's a very beautiful um, piece. And I don't have project bags, I just have Ziploc bags. <laughs> yep. What's next? Oh, Astronathus. It's uh, Nina Thomas. Oh, I have quite a few of her patterns. Um, Heaven and Earth don't sell her patterns anymore. It's discontinued. But this was like the second heaven and earth design. Oh my god. You know, it's it's dangerous to look at old progress uh, whips because you feel like I, I want to get back to those. And this is one of them. I think a lot about her. She is so freaking beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. She is just, and there's the beginning of the dragon. My God, it is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm amazed. And I only have the paper pattern. I don't have a digital pattern on her. There's a bird up there as well. Have you seen that? And she's wearing like a green long dress and she's having some armor. She's holding, you know, the dragon on her arm. It's beautiful. Oh, I didn't know I had made, I, don't, I didn't remember I had like made that much progress. I think that's almost like a third at least. Yep. stash I told you timeless timeless is also by and dokes it's the mother picture I have just done some background yeah it's her hair it's on 28 count I think it's horrible to stitch on it's like it's a black and white. It's so beautiful. I think it's it's a little bit more than a page. And there is like Krennic in it. I don't know if you can get the sparkle. Mm. No, I don't think it's hard. Maybe a little bit there. Horrible. But she's holding her baby. And it's, it's very, such a beautiful picture. I love it. But... Need count. I don't like it. I 
don't like it at all. So it's kind of nice anyway that if you go back and take a look at all the whips that you can sort out which ones you would like to continue or which ones you don't want to continue. So I mean why con you know keep them? You know you can use them for something else. What's this? Universe in a jar. So it's a Randall Spangler. I doubt I have started this at all. I don't think so. I doubt it. Oh, I have, obviously. I've made the first uh, page. So, very nice. This is, I think this is 28 count as well, you know. Yeah. So, a lot of one pages and then, you know, gets hard on your fingers with the 28 count. For me it does anyway. And I've said it so many times before, it's the, the process I'm enjoying, not the results or anything. Because I know the heaven and earth designs is going to take so long. Even if you just work on one project, prog one piece, you're, you know, it's going to take time. So what do we have here? Hope returns. Hope returns. Is that uh, the one with the um, steward? What is it called? Something with Stuart. Matthew Stewart. Fifteen, that must be the other. Hope returns. In paper. No. This have I started anything here? No. That's what that no, I haven't stitched anything, but uh, that was kinda Hope returns. No, I think I've cut this off. That's good to know. I think it's the one where uh, she's kissing uh, the hobbit. She's giving her, him a kiss on the forehead. It's nothing I'm gonna stitch. It looks beautiful though. So that means I have more fat fabric for something else. And we have two more in this bag. This is Snow White and Alice by Jasmine Beckett. That's Alice, I think. Yeah. Alice and Snow White? Or is it Alice, Snow White and Cinderella? I have no idea. It's stitched on 28 count, 10 stitching. 2 over 1. Also, it's just too, it's too hard on the fingers. It's too bulky. So then I just, nope. Then I don't want to stitch it. And what is the last one? Oh my God, yes. It's also Julie Bell Vallejo and it's called The Passion for the Future. Oh my God. When this came, this was like among the bigger um, patterns there were like a hundred pages and imagine this in super sized oh I didn't know I had stitched 
that much. Wow. It's so cool. Oh my god. And I think this is 25 count. I, oh, I got I hope so. It feels like it's not so bulky, but my god. So I started, you know, stitching, parking, you know, the top. I was gonna go row by row, but then I felt like, why should I do that? I want to stitch her, you know. You know, you can stitch a part of the woman and a part of the background. And I love, I don't know why. I mean, this is not colors I would wear or anything, but stitching, this is, oh, I love these colors. Yes. This is also something I would like to get back to for sure. Yeah. I might need to do some kind of, uh, uh, what you call it? Yeah, sorting out like these designs I really want to stitch and try to get, even if it's 15, give them a week each or a weekend each, you know, to give them some love. And this one needs love. So that was that. And I have another box. I don't know if you want to see that one, but I'm gonna uh, pack it down. I'm gonna go get me some more coffee and I'll get right back to you. So I'm back. Yes. Um, let's continue. This is taking a long time. So this is called dreams. And I thought about this design and I was thinking who has made it. And it is of course, Randall Spangler's, his black and white cool design, which is like totally different from all the other stuff. And yeah, that's just what I thought. Uh, I don't remember if this was also like a 32 count or 28 count, but I had started stitching, but I felt again, like this is not going to happen. Um, yeah. So I've cut that off and used fabric for something else. So now I have a lot of fabric and it's going to have to be something where I stitch two over two, I guess. Yeah. And a whole lot of threads. So, but yeah, dreams this is a very cool uh, picture. Um, no dragglings or anything. Squeeze it in there. I have like over a hundred patterns from Heaven and Earth Designs, and of course, I can't stitch them all or start them all. It's gonna be insane. Yes, so this is the Middle Earth uh, map, and it's a hand dyed fabric, which is just silly because when uh, the design is finished, you can see the the fabric, but it's so nice. The fabric is so nice. And how much have I stitched? Not a lot. I don't even know which, which way. must be this way around because I usually park from upside to down. But I mean, if I would ever, ever stitch this map, then when you're framing it, you can, you know, leave a border around it 
that would be kind of nice but it's so nice and soft it's 25 count yes so in worst cases i could just tear it up and use it for something else like i could use it for my um long dog sampler and just uh, get a nice brownish variated thread for it that's uh, a thought um, I don't remember who has dyed the fabric it's many years ago um, yeah I don't know I have a lot of a lot of threads. What do we have here? Oh, the Mistral's voice. Another um, black and white is what I call it, like this gray design. And here I got myself some Ada, uh, a 22 count and i want to stitch two two over what i don't know how you say it on ada it's a horrible weave it's so stiff and but it's it looks looks kind of nice yeah it's also something i will never i don't think i will ever ever not with the designs I'm working on, you know. <clears throat> Again, a lot of DMCs. <laughs> I love uh, the Mistral's voice. I think that's... It's not Anne Stokes. She's called something else. I can't remember her now. She has a lot of elves and stuff and she has quite a few of these black and whites with a couple and you can just feel the love in, in the picture and you know you can get all these fantasy love stories going on when you're looking at them anyway oh bellissimo this is also uh jennifer jasmine beckett griffith it's her vampire series. And I haven't stitched anything, so it's a piece of empty fabric. So that means I don't have to stitch Bellissimo on it. Um, it's kind of cool. I like those vampire. Um, look at here, my God. I have cards, I have floss away bags, I have rings and bobbins, and a whole lot of beautiful DMCs. But there is another um, uh, vampire um, design with the Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Oh, now I can't remember the name, but it's a woman holding uh, a dead body. And she looks so sad. It's like she's taking the life of the man that she loves she's a vampire and I love it I know I started stitching it but I'm not sure if I've because I think I started stitching it on some fabric I didn't like so I might have decided not to continue with it I don't know we'll see what do we have here oh here's 32 count I'm not even gonna open it maybe this is the I need a name. What is what is that called? 
I vampiri, vampiri, vampiri. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> vampiri. Maybe it's uh, Latin or something. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's a fabric I don't like. But I started it a little bit here. So I haven't gotten that far. I could restart, but f feeling it, it feels like a 28 count and that's not good. Maybe. Mm. Or maybe it's, you know, it's when I do the parking or something that makes everything bulky and yeah. Uh, this one is also a design I would like to continue because I really like that expression in her face and the cruelty in it. So on here I just have these threads and the thing is when I collected the, the DMC colors uh, then I decided when I start um, a design I just buy the skeins of uh, the the colors where you need more than one skein. So I thought that was important because um, if you get skeins from different dye lots, uh, maybe, you know, I don't know. But I've changed a little bit actually uh, how I think about that because when it comes to the heaven and earth designs, I want uh, material packs because I know it can take years before I pick it up again. And it's nice to have a full set, you know, that you have all the threads for the kit and, you know. What's next? Oh, resistant training. Oh, I love that one. That's um, Scott Gustafsson. Is it Scott Gustafsson or is it Anderson? James Anderson maybe? That's I think. I think it's James Anderson. Yeah. So this is why I bought my cone of black. It's 10th stitching as well, black. And it was so damn boring to stitch a black background that I didn't continue, but it's also a piece I could actually imagine continue. Yes. But now I've started using the black cone to a lot of different things. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough for that. Let's continue. And here we have the Tord stairs. Also another love story. Um, I have kits of these. I don't know where I got them from. So many years ago, I don't think these people are making the kits anymore. So also, I think this is Lub Lublian, Jublian, I don't know. And I was going to stitch it from the middle and I wanted it to be, why is it so? long. Uh, I wanted it to be 10 stitching, I think. I think it's 10 stitching. Yeah. And I have no idea which is upside. I think it's this way. And you can't tell very much from it. But I've seen it stitched. It's very beautiful. The torrid stairs. They're meeting in the stairs and it feels like Either they're saying goodbye to each other, or it's like something that's forbidden. Very nice. I don't like the smells of some of these fabrics. But I'm very scent sensitive. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while to go through my stash and show you guys 
how crazy it can get when you get hooked on heaven and earth designs. But I love it. It's almost like Christmas, you know. You're opening up. This is Treasure Dragon. So this is Miles Pinkney. Pinky. Pinkney? Miles Pinkney. And I don't need to bring it up because I never started it. But I have a full kit. Uh, and it's a 25 count. Maybe. I hope. Hopefully. Um, but it's so cool, that design. I love Pinkney. I also, I have actually the Astronomer. But I haven't started that. But there, I love the colors in his artwork. Beautiful. <clears throat> treasure. So this, this must be the treasure quest. Treasure quest, maybe? I haven't started that one either. Nope. But we love this kind of fabric. And someone, I think I bought it from someone in the Facebook group uh, many years ago. And they have taped it instead of sewing, sewing it. <clears throat> and uh, that's when I realized I didn't want 28 count. And I think I had bought 28 count for the, the treasure quest. That's Randall Spangler with his dragons. And I realized I don't want to stitch on that. So I bought a 25 count magic guide from someone in the group, which is nice. Um, what do we have here? To dream of peace. That is um, Ravencroft, Linda Ravencroft, also mother daughter picture I don't think I have started this can't nope so this is some nice uh, even weave soft this must be the Lugana when, when it's so soft and nice maybe it's a 25 count anyway so it's very nice So there is actually quite a few I haven't started. Linda Ravenscrofts. Yeah, maybe I could imagine starting that. Maybe. Ooh. This was just one of those crazy, 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 crazy things. This is... What's her name? Her name is... Law is her last name. So these, this is Jade Hills. And that's what that's before super sized. So I wanted to make a huge, beautiful design. So I'm going to stitch two over. Yeah, I don't know what count this is, but it's an opalescent. Ada. So this must be like. Can it be maybe a 14 count? That could be. Let's see. I don't think you can. It looks so bright. So it's kind of shiny. This fabric is... <laughs> oh my God. It's like a cover for the bed. It's so... <laughs> so huge. It's just ridiculous. But... The design is beautiful, and I've only stitched a little bit at the top. It's two over two, and the stitches, yeah, it kind of looks nice. But just, I have so much thread because, I mean, two over two on such a, oh, what you call a big or small count, but... Yeah, is not the prior twice 
design. But it's so cool. It's fun to, you know, to bring it up. Take a look at it. And thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes less is more, but sometimes more is more. Yeah, project bags wouldn't hurt, right? Would be, I think, quite nice, actually. Oh, never mind about that. I have, I think I have three more. So this is Dragon Forge, also by Matthew Stewart. It's a 28 count. It's so stupid of me to start. So I haven't stitched much. So this would definitely be something I would uh, just throw away so I haven't stitched much it's just I think it's there's a little bit of some other colors in there but yeah so this would definitely be a fabric I would just throw away yep and get if if I would want to start a dragon forge which is an awesome picture take go take a look at it um I would just restart it. And I have a kit for it as well. I think her name was Donna. And I don't know if she's having some kind of cooperation with uh, Heaven and Earth Designs now. Or is it the... Oh, maybe it's the lady who's doing the Crafty Kitten. Did she have Heaven and Earth Designs uh, material? packs before I think she did so I think that's a place where I've gotten quite a few of them years back so this is the lady of the mirror yeah I wonder if I can figure out which count it is but I have stitched I think at least a page of it and it's very so beautiful this design it's very beautiful it feels so hard and compact so I think it's a 28 count unfortunately yeah but it's very beautiful it's a nice one so if you can hear my dog in the background and my daughter just they're just playing <clears throat> I don't know it's because it's 28 count I can just feel how hurtful it is in my fingers uh, so I probably 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 <laughs> won't um, continue that on 28 count nope And I mean, buying new fabric uh, in 25 count is kind of expensive. So I think I will just not stitch any of the old uh, projects. I don't think so. I mean, the ones that I've started on <clears throat> them on 28 count. So the two last. What can this be? What can this be? I wonder. Oh, this must be... Um, this must be that dragon. Um, this is the dragon. And it's... Yeah, it's, I just named it dragon. But it has... Uh, 
it's like a cha Chinese dragon in in the sky. There is uh, one with a white dragon and there is one with um, a blue dragon. Golden dragon maybe? Blue. Yeah. Very nice, very beautiful. But... It's also, I think, a lot of the designs have a lot of background and it's not the background which you usually enjoy stitching. It's the, um, you know, the object itself. Um, yeah. So here we have a complete kit of, of something. Oh, yes. I'm glad I never started this because there is a super sized and I might just get some other fabric for it. It is The Eternal Promise by Matthew Stewart. It's with Aragon and uh, not Ariel. What's her name? What's the elf's name? Well, whoops. I mean, there is so much floss in here. And it's so beautiful. And yeah, I knew it. It is the Crafty Kitten. Yeah. So she did material packs before. And unfortunately, this is a 28 count. Jaslyn, yeah. So it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So that was all my stash I have. So uh, now off camera, I think I'm going to um, go through it all again and kind of sort out what I really want to stitch and what I don't want to stitch. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I thought, you know, I thought this episode was going to be so short. So I wanted to do a new start with you guys. I wanted to start the dragon in the morning, but this is way too long. So yeah, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already done that because then I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.